Hello everybody, doing a bit of a very special review here, one that I have uh, been hoping to show you guys if my camera soon stays up, I don't know, but as you can tell by the music, by my favorite favorites, anyway, if you can hear the music, I'm trying to position my camera for some reason in position. That way to start off a video. But, um, yeah, this is a very neat review, and I hope you guys like it. But, I have made my... Yes, I know I made another custom Freddy. But I have made a really actual figure of him. And here he comes. This is, um... Now, I, what I used to design him was... I um I don't know what series it is, but it's a Jack specific basic Mark Henry. I painted these spots white because you know he's an animatronic. He's gonna have those white spots showing on him. Um, showing you where I painted him. I painted his shoes brown. I painted this area brown because I couldn't get it off with the paint remover. Um. Yeah, around this section, I used a sharpie to make like a line here, like you know, show the animatronic part. I made his head out of clay. Now I'm not gonna move it. Oh, and I also put the white here, but I'm not gonna move it too, really. But um, this is it. Like I put his spots here. I made teeth here. Um, white here for the animatronic pieces. And his eyes here, like, you see his, like, eyelids would be here. Um, but yeah, normal plate. And I also, with the Sharpie, put on his bow tie. I just need to find maybe a, um, microphone hat, but overall, this is what it looks like. Take it all in. I'm just, like... Because I was, I'm so obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's, I just wanted to make a figure, and I am looking to buy two more of the same figures of this to make Chica and Bonnie, and then I'm gonna have to find a figure for Foxy. Uh, I'm using because I'm a, more of a fan of the first game than the second game. Um, yeah, I try to make white around maybe his joint areas. Um. But yeah, if you're wondering, I, I'm not going to move his head, but you can turn it, but I don't want to risk that. Oh, and, um, I, I surrounded it in the Mark Henry head with clay, so you can have that peg hole right here, so I can put it on before articulation, like, moves here, bicep swivel, arm moves, wrist moves, and, um, hand moves right here, hit, this is probably a stick from the paint, but he can move here. Um, leg moves out a little bit. You know, this is basic um, articulation. Leg moves in and out, move, foot moves. But um, if you want to wonder at the size of him, here I'll put him here, and I'll put him next to um, this guy, the 2008 Abomination figure. You can see is he is pretty much taller. You can see that. Yeah. But yeah, um, this is a short video. Well, it may be. But I just really wanted to show you guys this. I am a huge fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. And my favorite character out of the whole series is Freddy from the first game. So, I went ahead and made me a figure. Yeah. Wonder I got nothing on this, <laughs> but um yeah, just I'm just glad to have it. Um, I got I don't know what brand it is, but um I got paint from Hobby Lobby, like those little like really tiny because I didn't need too much paint. Um, and then I don't know what kind of clay they use. I got like um. Yeah, I, I forget. I just, like, got this certain kind and used it, but, um, yeah, that's about it. You can make him, like, he's about to kill you or something. I'm gonna have to find a human that's in scale, um, 
I do have a couple of ones, but I mean, you gotta have it because these animatronics are a lot bigger than you expect them to be because, like, people are, like, a regular human like right here to him. These animatronics are big, and I find that really awesome. So, um, yeah, and, um, I just got a lot of things planned out, but, um, overall, so I was just excited to get this review out, and I'm, I'm sorry about not making a video yesterday. I got home literally at 11.30, and I was just wiped out, and, um, so I'm make I, um, what I did with Christmas, I was too busy, so I'll make up a video. Yeah, if I, um, can't make a video when I usually do, I'll usually make up for it the day after, or as soon as I possibly can. But, uh, yeah, this is a figure overall. I'm just really happy with the way it came out. Yeah, I know there's paint marks, but I mean, I can kind of ignore that because it's just customized. And, um, I don't know, maybe Scott's thinking about making a toy line for these guys. I really would like that. But, um, yeah, this is my review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, peace out.